Hello everybody, I'm Scout83 and this is a review of No Man's Sky. I don't normally do reviews, but I thought I would of this game. Now first off, I want to kind of start by kind of explaining what No Man's Sky is. What No Man's Sky is, is a raw exploration game. The entire purpose of this game is just to go from planet to planet as you work your way through the galaxy and explore and see different kind of things that you wouldn't normally see and it's procedurally generated the planets are procedurally generated and the animals and plants are procedurally generated now let me start off by saying you'll notice similarities between the plants and animals that are on the different planets because they're basically taking you know parts of the different animals and putting them together that's how they're procedurally generating them but if you can uh, get to where you enjoy the subtle differences that are in most of the creatures then I think you'll really come to enjoy this game now if you're coming to no man's sky for like combat I don't think this is the right title. The the right title for you. The combat is very clunky. Yeah, it works and but it's not like the focus. And space combat and everything are it well, is not are is um pretty clunky. And um but you get to different locations and you get to see some pretty interesting stuff and you have you come across and there's these stories and everything that you come across but they're really more like beginnings of stories and they kind of create a mystery and this game doesn't seem and I've put in about 11 hours to this point and it doesn't seem to really solve those questions that it raises which to most players is going to be a problem to me I'm kind of really enjoying the fact that it's not solving these problems for me because it lets my imagination kind of fill in the gaps and that's really made it that much more enjoyable for me um, unfortunately I feel like most player a lot of players who maybe don't want to have to imagine <laughs> or you know go through that much trouble to figure out what's going on might not enjoy it quite as much but um, the game itself is very very beautiful um, and yeah it, it you start seeing some of the structures and everything pretty pretty um, relatively early on but I don't feel like it's as big of a handicap as people maybe make it out to be and as for the um, different alien civilizations that are around, a lot of people have talked about them feeling like they're like the universe is disjoined. I kind of think that's probably a good thing in a game where you're supposed to be exploring space because you don't want to become part of anything. Um, and actually, I kind of feel like, to a degree, you do. Um, still I at least I do I still feel like uh, like I'm running through somebody's um, area of control because um, to this point I'm 11 hours in and I've only seen one alien race I've seen the Vi the Vikings Viking Vikings I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce theirs actually I'd have to look at the name <laughs> and there are different locations like this um, these ruins that we're looking at right now and um, they're actually one of my favorite kind of instances because the ruins are a little bit more interesting um, because you know you kind of get a glimpse into the civilizations and everything and you know the lore is not too not exactly deep it's actually seems to be rather shallow but then again most things in the game this game seems rather shallow again I think it's one of those points where if you don't use a little bit of your own imagination 
you're not this game is not going to hold you that terribly long and then you have these knowledge stones and you have to gradually slowly um learn the different words and different civilizations and you know so you can actually communicate because you really can't understand the alien what they're saying to you um oddly enough i feel like given the text description and context lots of times you actually do kind of figure out what what they want from you um but you're never completely sure and learning those words really helps and another thing of course here we're going to show a little bit of the space combat it's very very simple i mean really really simple um and it's actually seems right if you've got the right resources with you it seems very survivable because you can just go back into your inventory and recharge your shields very simplest simplistic i haven't taken on any of the major challenges like taking on a fleet or anything i'm pretty sure that would be a lot more intense but um everything is very um arcadey and you see the the uh inventory menu it's very the inventory menu is very basic you can kind of select the different aspects you want if you want to um kind of do you just kind of swap the things between your suit and your ship and um it's it's very simplistic as i said and the trading is ridiculously simplistic if you were coming into this game for trading eh, that's a really bad idea because the trading is almost non-existent it's very very simplistic you can't like travel back and forth between systems to trade things and um every day you sit down it's gonna be some some new commodity is gonna be you know on the market that sells better so that's not too terribly interesting really as I said, the combat is very simplistic, and actually this is a really, this is like the only combat I really have on, on the crown. Um, I've done a lot more, I just realized I didn't have any video, but um, it's, it's very simplistic. It's pretty much the same thing. I have the shotgun module on there, and um, you know, it's just basically point and shoot and try to out survive. And of course you've got mining and stuff which is what i'm doing right here and this is how you you gather resources you have to gather resources in order to um in order to basically survive and um this is very early on and i'm thinking i better get out of here because there's multiple drones looking around but as i said look these um this landscape is very very cool and they randomly generate the landscapes if you're willing to kind of really appreciate the little subtle differences um it'll hold you but as i said you've got this is a resource gathering game and um you just gradually you upgrade your suit you upgrade your ship and um you know and you want to upgrade to a better ship with more inventory slots and maybe better capabilities and um you know, and the ships themselves are ran randomly generated. Um, but they mostly all look more or less the same. Um, you kind of try to get that ship that you really like. Um, but there's the inventory system again. And uh, as I was saying, you've got the, the, these different slots. And as you go, now this is your ship slot. You have to buy another ship in order to upgrade slots and you can put in these slots you can put like upgrades for the ship or you can um you can also craft using uh, using these slots and that's how you like build like warp cores and stuff so that you can move your ship further and further on and you can jump to new systems and everything and it's a very very cool game concept if you're really into exploration and really i just think that if you're not really into exploration this game is probably not going to be the most interesting game in the world 
and um, it's going to take a lot of time to do just a little bit of exploration, and um, you know, and th I, that that um, pull pulls in people like me who really enjoy just kind of like going around and looking at things. And that's one thing I get distracted in in games all the time, especially open world games. I'll start to sh start ex start ex ah, excuse me start exploring. And I just will get lost just seeing what's around. And um, I do that in in all kinds of games. Um, Skyrim, um, Fallout, and um, even things like Minecraft. I just, um, I'll stop and I'll, I'll explore just because I want to see what's around the next bit. And if you enjoy that a lot, you'll probably enjoy this game. But if you if you want to see combat and everything and the combat is very sparse out then this is probably not your game but I do really enjoy this game and I do think that it is worth a buy for those people who really enjoy space exploration so anyway I hope this review helps you to understand a bit of what what No Man's Sky is and what it isn't and I hope it enlightens you a little bit and um, I know <laughs> it's probably not the best review in the world but it is basically my first review so anyway I hope it helps you um, so thank you for watching